Hey, Coast family, it's the Resurrection Weekend. Hey, guys, I'm down here. Hi, I'm Arthur, and it is my privilege to be with you here today. How has staying home this week been for you? I believe that even with the tighter restrictions put in place, we can still be a blessing to our community. If you have a testimony to share of how God has used you to bless others, please tell us about it. Matthew 5.16 says, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Before we go further into the service, let us render our full attention to God by making sure that we put away all forms of distractions. If you are tuning in alone, we suggest you consider using earphones to engage better. And may God's presence draw us closer into His sacred space for this next hour or so. To those who are tuning in for the very first time, we want to warmly welcome you. We would really love to get to know you and ask that you help us by clicking on the link below. Provide us with some details and before you know it, we will get in touch with you. And by the way, we can't wait to meet with you and welcome you personally when our services resume. This weekend, we not only remember the death of Jesus Christ, but that He rose from the grave on the third day. It reminds me of the immeasurable love that God has for us and showed us when He sent His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. Therefore, it's our privilege and honour, our reasonable act of worship to bring to Him our tithes and offerings. You can give through our e-giving platforms shown on the screen. Thank you for giving generously unto the Lord. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for sending your only Son to live among us with the ultimate goal of dying on the cross for the sins of the world. You did not allow Him to suffer decay, but on the third day, He rose from the grave. We not only celebrate His death and resurrection, but look forward to His glorious return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.